All right, so now we're going to hop into the, the multi-cut tool now. Uh, you'll notice that we have our mesh from the extrude demo. And now we're just going to start making divisions all over this. Uh, and that's what the multi-cut tool is great for. So if you're, if you're trying to make a shape and you just don't have the exact definition that you want on the object, uh, this is where it's going to come in handy. But don't get too carried away with it because you can go too far and then make it not workable. So if you see uh, right here where I'm dragging the, the mouse cursor over, it's trying to make these kind of connections to wherever I am. And we can go in and start just cutting up this face. Uh, if you cut to one side of the object and press enter, it will accept what you've been cutting. And I'm just cutting across here and here. Now if I hold control, it's going to try to create what we call an edge loop. An edge loop, notice how it goes around the entire object. And that's why we call it an edge loop. So it kind of encapsulates the whole thing. Uh, and when you have a, a really well uh, built piece of geometry, you'll notice that the edges or the edge flow goes around very nicely. So if you, if you had like a, a, a very muscled guy, you'd have edge loops going around kind of the biceps, the, the pecs, the, it, would, it, would, it would flow very nicely together. Um, and one of the dangers of the multi-cut tool is notice how I created these three points right here, which is a triangle, right? And I created another triangle right here. And right here, and I was just doing that by cutting it up with with left click. And uh, the the issue with that is that now, since those are no longer just a four pointed polygon, also known as a quad, since those are all tries right here, I can no longer uh, insert an edge loop through there, right there, boom. But see how I just cut into that, and now if we count up the the points on this one, two, three four. It now will have an edge loop in there, uh, but of course this, this edge flow is not what I was kind of striving for. Um, but uh, I just wanted you to know that when you're, when you're multi-cutting, try not to make these tries because they will terminate your kind of edge flow of, the, of your model. Um, but besides that, let me, let me go in and delete all this. So I'm just going to double click this and it will select the entire edge loop. And I'm just going to shift and click on all those edges. And I'm gonna press Control Delete instead of just regular delete. Because Control Delete is gonna get rid of all the verts that were attached to those edges. Um, see if I just did regular delete and went back into vert mode. You'd see I have some secret sneaky verts in there. So multi-cut is fantastic for creating that extra geometry in there. And then you can kind of start going in and moving that out and you can multi-cut across here and I'm going to double click that edge loop and I'm going to scale it up to make a nice round sort of shape um, so that's what it's fantastic for is this kind of stuff and if I have some geo here and then let's, uh, let's, let's actually cover uh, inserting edge loops but uh, in the middle of it, right? So if I, you, you know how, if I'm holding control and going over the mesh like this, it's trying to create that edge loop in there. Uh, however, if I, if I hold shift, you'll see that it snaps to different points, right? And that's determined by this snap set, uh, snap step setting in here. So it's going 10% each time. So this is 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. So exactly halfway is 50%. And that's going to be pretty important, is that uh, halfway setting, because uh, it, a, a lot of times we work with symmetry, or we want to just get a, a, a edge loop right in the center of it, because uh, we need more definition there. So a really quick way to do that is control, and then middle click. So boom, see how it just snapped right to 50% in there? It's perfect. So that's, that's a fantastic use of uh, multi-cut. Um, you can also use multi-cut to divert edge flow. Say I, I didn't want this, uh, say I was selecting this, and notice how if I click this edge, and then I shift double click this, that selection goes all around there, right? 
So my edge flow is kind of just going horizontal. But if I wanted this horizontal edge flow to instead go up and curve around this piece of uh, geometry, what I'd have to do is start trying to think of this in terms of quads, right? So if I go in and I don't, I don't have any edge flow going that way, but if I start with this diagonal one right here, boom. It kind of, think about this as if this were a quad, it would start going up this way. But if in practice, if I select it right now, nothing happens because it's, it's the, the edge flow isn't there yet. It's being blocked by this triangle. So if we go in and delete this, and I'm just doing control delete to make sure I get rid of those uh, verts in there. Now notice that I have the edge flow of this of this quad kind of going in here, and we need another quad right here, right? So if I go in here, and I'm just still control deleting um, there. So now notice this. Notice how that edge flow has been diverted. And it's all in quads. Uh, however, we uh, when I was deleting earlier, I did make some end gons, which we're going to get into later. But uh, if you want to fix those, you'll have to kind of go in and delete whichever edges are creating that that uh, multi-sided topology. But yeah, so that's what multi-cut is mostly for: is for adding definition uh, and diverting edge flow. And yeah, so that's pretty much what we're, we're dealing with right here for Multica. Thanks for watching.